But I got a lot of help from a lot of good people. A lot of help. I could sit here for fucking hours and tell you how much help I got from great people. And yeah, this is way before the comedy and whatever. And that woman upstairs is one of them. That woman upstairs saved my fucking life. She gave me a chance that I thought nobody would ever give me again, you know? She gave me a chance that, to be honest with you, I didn't want. I didn't want the chance of being in a fucking relationship. I didn't want the chance of having a girlfriend or responsibility. Fuck being married and having a fucking kid. Fuck all that shit. I just wanted somebody I could sleep with, maybe go to a restaurant with once in a while, and maybe go to a movie with no fucking commitment. And boy, was I fucking wrong. She took me from fucking A to Z. And today I look at you guys and tell you I'm happy, you know. She took care of me. Ralphie May took care of me. Josh Wolf took care of me. Joe Rogan took care of me. Ari took care of me. You know, Duncan took care of me. You guys have no fucking idea what it takes when you're a comic and you're when you're an artist in any any art form, art understands one of the things that you have to do as an artist is help people, is help other artists, maybe open up a door for them. You know, Mike showed up with a light, ideas. That's what we do as artists. We, we give each other ideas to be better. We make each other better. Why have a friend if they make you the worst person that you could be. You ever think about that? Sometimes we hang out with people, like especially for a guy like me, I did coke for 37 years. I had a ton of friends that they didn't do nothing for you but bring you, you know, bad situations. You liked them at the time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, you showed up with an ounce of coke, he ain't that bad of a fucking guy. But, you know, <laughs> When it comes to artistry and all this type of shit, I don't even consider myself that. I'm just saying that there was a lot of fucking help involved. And one of those people that helped me was my fucking wife, man. She fucking helped me. And in ways that, you know, I mean, one of the strongest things she said to me that really let me know that she was paying attention and that she really cared about me and loved me compared to any other woman I had been with was something that blew my mind one night. She told me when I was high, I was high and I was just getting in. And she didn't know I was high. She told me, and not high on reefer either. Uh, she told me that she could tell that I was somebody that didn't have a mother's love. And that fucking destroyed my insides, boy. Finally. Somebody had figured me the fuck out. Remember how we talk about calling you out and shit? There's a big difference between getting called out and getting figured out. Somebody fucking figured me the fuck out. I was blown away that night. I went to fucking sleep and I was like, holy shit. What the fuck did she just do? She just exposed me. Those words from her fucking killed me. That I was, I had the attitude of somebody who was raised without a mother. That is fucking horrific. That is fucking horrific. And again, if it wasn't for my maturity at the time or whatever, I would have probably lost it, called her a cunt and stormed out of here. And this video would probably never be happening right now. Thank God I didn't storm out of there like the cunt that I am. I got insulted, you know, for all you people who got <laughs> insulted easy. I can't believe you say that. Sometimes stay, warm off the argument, throw some cold water on it, and think about the words that those people are saying to you. I'm not talking about some jerk off at a bar who wants to throw a, a left-handed fucking remark at you. I'm talking about somebody who loves you and who's close to you and for some reason wants to say something to you to make you better. Don't fucking steam off and call them an asshole and tell them fuck you, you, you know, and listen, I've been guilty of it, but I also know where those people are coming from. 
there's a lot of people out there that want to give you advice just to make you fucking feel bad. But there's a lot of people that, advise, that are out there to give you advice to build you the fuck up. Those are the ones you want in your life. The ones that give you advice to build you the fuck up. Not the ones that give you advice to fucking knock you the fuck down. Fuck those motherfuckers. I don't need them around me. It's so weird how, you know, Patreon has been great because it kept me together. It took my, you know, anxiety away. It calmed me down in a lot of ways. It took my mind off what was going on around me when I was moving in the pandemic. But it's also showed me something. It showed me that there's a lot of people that were stuck like I was, and I'm having an opportunity to help them. And I'm not talking about it in a financial way. For some reason or another, and it didn't happen on Facebook, it happened maybe once or twice on Facebook, and it happened maybe once or twice on Twitter. But here's something. Here's the weirdest thing. When somebody tape, sends me a tape of their comedy, it breaks my fucking heart for you to say to me, Joey, can you look at my comedy and tell me what you fucking think? Don't do that to me. You're putting me in a spot. Why don't you just tell me to suck your dick? It would make it easy. At least I know where I stand. I, 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 I don't know where the fuck I stand when I fucking, tell, you know, when you would tell me that you want me to look at your stand up. It just isn't fair to me. I would feel as if, I would feel as if, no matter what I said to you, I was putting you down. That's why I could never do like, I had a hard time with Kill Tony. I like the concept of it, but I don't want to chop somebody down. I want to build them up, you know, in a, in a funny way. And listen, some people say some bad jokes and we all goof around. Lord knows I've said bad jokes and people have said stuff to me and I haven't taken it personally, but these are dreams. And sometimes people go a little too far when they fuck with your dreams. Me, I'd rather not go there so I don't go there. But i tell you what I do like. Like Mike does it a lot. A lot of people do this. They just send me music.